person that we've always looked up to. To my mom. It's just a sad day. Just a very, very sad day. My mom called me earlier. She was crying on the phone because the Queen has been a huge part of her life and everyone's life. We've all grown up with her, so yeah, very sad indeed. She led in this country with great reverence and duty and respect and honor, and I just don't know if that would be another like her. Mourners outside Buckingham Palace uh, today as Queen Elizabeth II uh, dies. Meantime, Charles becomes king. Bloomberg writes it this way, he faces a nation changes. Next two weeks will be a jolt for a country accustomed to being ruled by the same monarch for more than 70 years. Longer than 85% of the population have been alive. Charles will now have to steer the near immutable institution of monarchy in a country that has altered beyond recognition since his mother's ascension. His kingdom faces potential breakup as Scotland presses for independence and an uncertain position in the world after leaving the European Union. Let's bring in our panel. Leslie Marshall, Democratic strategist, former Education Secretary Bill Bennett, and Morgan Ortega's former State Department spokesperson. Bill, let me start with you, life and legacy of the Queen and what we just heard there from Bloomberg. A lot of lessons. Uh, you know, we're having some problems getting some of our young men to work these days. This woman worked for 70 years, 70 years, uh, in the service of her country. Uh, one thing that was said today I liked is that maybe the world, certainly England, maybe the world lost its grandmother. Uh, you know, Shakespeare says some are born great, some achieve greatness, some have greatness thrust upon them. I think she had uh, all three. but. Let's also pay attention to that very human side. I love the stories of her having been trained as a mechanic, uh, and then when the cars or trucks would break down on the way to the country estates, she would get under uh, the car and the hood and try to fix things. That was her. That was her training. There is uh, a story, Brett, that uh, I heard and I confirmed with uh, Jim Baker that when President Reagan visited with her, they're both good riders, uh, horsemen. And uh, they were riding up a steep hill, and a loud blast of gas came out of one of the horses. And the Queen said to Ronald Reagan, excuse me, Mr. President. And Ronald Reagan said, oh, fine, Your Majesty, I thought it was the horse. <laughs> uh, he, reports that, he reports that a smile came over her face. This was a very interesting <laughs> human being. Longevity matters. Longevity there does matter. Go. Leslie, um, the British Prime Minister, new Liz Truss, uh, called the Queen a huge rock on which modern Britain was built. Ab absolutely. My best friend lives in London, and I spoke to her earlier today. Um, a couple of things here. One, there are two words that keep coming up with leaders all over the world in our country as well, uh, dignity and decency. And I think that the world wants that, embraces that uh, in a leader, whether it be a president, a prime minister, or certainly their monarch, their queen. I heard a beautiful story on BBC earlier today. A man said that his mother, who has Alzheimer's and can't remember anything, when she was watching on television and heard Queen Elizabeth had passed, she started crying because she knew Queen Elizabeth and she remembered her. The son said the only thing that his mother could remember from her past because this woman is the only monarch, that the only queen, the only leader that most people mm -hmm. in that nation have ever known. And now it will be King Charles III. Uh, and Morgan, his statement said, the death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly in the passing of cherished sovereign and a much loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realm and the Commonwealth and by countless people around the world. He has his hands full uh, as he takes over as he king. You know, when you look at what um, she faced as queen, you looked at everything that she did with the United States, um, defeating and, and looking at the Nazis, World War II, uh, the rise of the Soviet Union, terrorism. Um, the United Kingdom, under her leadership, has been a steadfast and loyal and loyal ally and loyal friend. I think in Proverbs 18, uh, there's, there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And I think that's what we saw in the relationship um, with Queen Elizabeth and what we all hope we get out of this uh, next monarch and, of course, the new prime minister. And it is scary times that we are all entering together. Um, but she certainly has been an example of a female leader that me and, and many other women uh, admire and look up to. 
Well, thank you all. We will see much pomp and circumstance over the coming days leading to a funeral uh, in London. Thanks.